Hi guys, Aaron Dorr here. I am driving right now. Just left Cheyenne, Wyoming, meeting with some of our best uh, pro gun, ferocious pro gun champions in the capital in Cheyenne, Senator Anthony Bouchard and Representative Bob Wharf. On behalf of Wyoming gun owners, we're working on getting our bill draft uh, tight for the upcoming session on the Second Amendment Preservation Act. And you know, as a reminder again, guys, what SAPO would do is it tells local and state authorities, city cops, state troopers, and uh, sheriff's deputies that they may not enforce federal law when it comes to guns, ammo, and accessories. Instead, they would enforce state law. In other words, all of Joe Biden's garbage would fall by the wayside because it simply would not be enforced by local and state agencies. Now, the feds can still enforce their own federal legislation, but the reality is they always rely on the cooperation of in-state friends to do their work for them. So if you make it a crime for state agencies to enforce federal gun control laws, well then all of a sudden those laws would go unenforced, like the marijuana laws, for example. So I was down there talking with these guys and we were just kind of talking about how many states are claiming that they are passing SEPA right now. And the reality is they're doing nothing of the kind. And you know, for a lot of gun owners, it's instinctive. We know that the radical left hates gun owners and they're our biggest enemy. But these days, and I think Trump made this abundantly clear for all of us, we now know that you, you can't trust the Republicans many times either. And in red states right now that are controlled by Republicans, a lot of people are claiming to pass SEPA doing nothing of the sorts. I wanted to break down again the real points that make a SEPA bill a SEPA bill. Number one, this is a law. The Second Amendment Preservation Act is legislation. It's law. It's not a resolution. So this year in Nebraska, for example, Governor Ricketts enacted a sanctuary state resolution, which they're basically trying to say is SEPA. But all this is is a feel-good gesture, a feel-good gesture that talks about being pro-gun. There's no teeth. Real SEPA legislation is a law that, like I said, makes it a crime for state and local agencies to enforce any part of Joe Biden's war against the Second Amendment. That's number one. It's a law, not a resolution. But number two, and equally as important, this law has to have teeth. There has to be an enforcement capability. So the, the bill that the Door Brothers are pushing in states like Iowa, Wyoming, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Minnesota, Georgia, I, a whole bunch of states right now, these bills are drafted to allow you, the individual gun owner, to sue these agencies. If they violate SAFA law, you can sue them in a civil court for damages. Because if we don't have that in there, liberal department heads and there's liberal department heads even in wyoming where i'm at right now they will order their department their officers to enforce federal gun control laws and sapa be damned if there's no teeth there's no downside to them and so real sapa law has teeth what texas passed this year for example what they're calling sapa has nothing there's no teeth at all nothing zero zilch it's a lie the third thing that SEPA has to have that we are pushing in states all across the country right now is a private cause of action in other words you get to invoke the teeth that SEPA has so the bill we passed in Missouri this year for example if a state agency violates SEPA law which is already in effect right now in the state if that happens the teeth are present, but you, as the individual gun owner in Missouri, you could personally sue those departments in civil court. You could do it on your own, and that's how it has to be. Because anytime you rely on another government official to intervene and stop a government, there are calculations they are making about their own political um, you know, best interest, not yours as a gun owner. So again, using Texas this year, for example, the bill they passed says that if 
a federal law you know comes out that's unconstitutional and local agencies enforce it against a gun owner in Texas the gun owner in question has to appeal that to the AG in Texas and the Texas AG may investigate the Texas AG may decide it's unconstitutional the Texas AG may ask the governor to look at it the Texas governor may decide the federal law in question is unconstitutional and the Texas governor may then tell state authorities state agencies in Texas not to enforce that federal gun control law did you hear all that there's 15 layers between the tyranny coming out of Joe Biden's White House and actually stopping that enforcement on your that violates your gun rights it will never happen it will never happen there will always be a political reason why they decide not to defend your gun rights you can take that to the bank and so for these states that are doing this and leaving the enforcement of SEPA up to the state agencies like the AG's office or the governor that is an absolute con job on gun owners and so I know it's a little bit nuanced but at the end of the day it's really pretty simple it has to be a law not a resolution it has to have teeth or else it counts for nothing and the enforcement of that teeth that bite has to come from individual citizens not some other appointed or elected government official so as as sessions begin to kick off you know next spring I mean next year rather you've got to watch as you see red states in particular when you see red state Republicans trot out uh, SEPA legislation so-called if it's a bill that we're working on you can you know that bill is good to go but if it's a bill that some moderate is running just to get cover at election time those are the three things to watch for if any one of those three are missing they are trying to play you for fools do not fall for that and guys if you want help passing SEPA in your state contact us and we'll do everything we possibly can to help you take care